Welcome to Spiritual Awakening Family. The deepest of love extends from my soul, Master Kathumi, to all existing upon the earth and experiencing ascension consciously or unconsciously. For those conscious of their ascension their responsibility to anchor, embody and deliver the high frequency vibrations of the Creator is greater. Not only are you responsible for your personal ascension, you play a key role in the ascension of the planet. Your awareness of the presence of the Creator within and around you as well as within all assists in encouraging unconscious souls to remember the Creator. The more light you can anchor through your being, embody and radiate into the world not only will your life enhance you will be creating the perfect environment for the transitions and shifts of others. The ascension of others is not your responsibility, the expression of your truth is. It is my purpose to highlight to you how you hold within your being and the positive influence you have upon the world especially when you focus upon your own spiritual evolution. Resolving energies within Healing your being and recognizing your truth is akin to showering the world with blessings. This is a beautiful concept to remind yourself of as if you wish to be of service to the earth and our humanity. First be of service to yourself, then the blessings you shower upon the earth and our humanity will be far greater. When you recognize the connection between your spiritual evolution and the positive impact this has upon the world around you without you even communicating with the world, you recognize a key which will always encourage you to delve deeper within your being. The suffering you may recognize within others, humanity and the world also exists in some form or consciousness within your own being, this is the case especially if you experience reaction of any form to the suffering of others. The more you heal the suffering within your being the less likely you are to even see or sense suffering in your surrounding world. This I know seems impossible. When a complete healing of suffering takes place within your being it will only be your connection with the collective consciousness of humanity which is where you would be able to access the energy of suffering from. Being alerted to the suffering within the collective consciousness of humanity would be a signal to you that your healing skills are required to bring forth transformation to the consciousness of humanity and therefore all souls who have existed upon the earth. It is the inner child who often absorbs energies of suffering. Your inner child is a reflection of your childhood of wounds carried forth from past lifetimes and represents the essence, innocence of your soul. It is within the inner child that the truth of the Creator can be seen play while limitations and suffering of any form are evident as well. The inner child feels and experiences energies deeply and profoundly which means that spiritual experience can be intense while suffering can feel crippling. If negative or limiting experiences occurred in your childhood, then it is often that the inner child reacts from the age, awareness and consciousness of those limiting points even when the body is fully grown to an adult. Issues from childhood or even past lifetimes continue to impact your reality and stunt the growth of your inner child. This can cause deeply painful experiences inability to think clearly and being unable to regulate limiting reactions. The purpose of the inner child is to be fully grown exuding the peace, balance and innocence of the Creator. When the inner child is healed and balanced any age of the inner child can be accessed and merged with the current adult ready to create a positive impact. The war of the inner child imagine a world where adults are interacting and reacting with themselves and each other from the core of their suffering inner child. The inner child wants to feel loved, supported, nurtured and fulfilled. If this is not satisfied then the inner child becomes needy, demands attention, blames, hurts others and thinks in forms of separation and self-importance. Again, I invite you to return to imagining a world where all adults are acting and reacting from this aspect of their inner child. The world created is one of suffering for all. Not only are adults suffering and causing suffering to others they are impacting the consciousness and energy of souls born as babies upon the earth. The suffering is projected into the collective consciousness of humanity, 
So a person of any age can be influenced by the energy. When a person adult or a child embodied the wounds of their inner child they can cause suffering to themselves, adults, children and animals and may not be conscious of their actions. Children who radiate the innocence of the Creator can become victims of the wounds of the inner children of others. It is important to realize that the wounds of your inner child and that of others impact the way you act and react towards others, whether adult, child, animal or even plant. It is the wounds of the inner child that explains why so many adults, children, animals and plants suffer upon the earth. When, I, Master Kathumi, am speaking of suffering, I am referring to the abuse or mistreatment of others. The person causing the abuse or mistreatment may hold many in a child wounds. The roles souls play when we are speaking of suffering, abuse and mistreatment of any kind there is a need to realize that victims and perpetrators have often unconsciously created an energetic contract of learning together. This I know seems impossible, who would consent to such a thing? The old consciousness and energetic patterning of learning and growing spiritually through pain and suffering still remains upon the earth. Many are releasing this patterning in favor of growth through love. However, it is still present within the lives of many. It was previously used as a way of jolting the soul into remembrance of the Creator. Now this is no longer needed as a process of inner awakening. Prayer for the inner child when observing the suffering of yourself, inner child or others there is always a need to anchor light and love of the purest vibration. This erases any contracts brings wounds forth to be healed and awakens in our remembrance of the Creator. This is also why we encourage you to anchor your light as a light worker into the earth to assist in the healing of others automatically and without your awareness when you do so. I, Master Kathumi believe there is a link between the suffering that some children experience on the earth and the suffering of the inner child within many adults even if their pathways do not cross. When adults heal their inner child so the suffering of children on the earth will transform and become non-existent. I, Master Kathumi wish to share with you an invocation which will support the healing of your own inner child, the inner children of all upon the earth, the collective consciousness of humanity and the physical children of the earth. I invite Master Kathumi and his healing team to come forth to me sharing your energy, love, healing and truth. I open myself fully to receive the sacred vibrations being directed to me now. I invite my entire being to embody and radiate the light and love being shared with me, so that it may touch my being deeply as well as the earth. I invite my inner child to be receptive and absorb the light love and healing flowing through me. Now is your time to heal and receive all you require to fulfill yourself. My beloved inner child please know you are deserving, absorb what you need and bring to my conscious awareness anything you wish to release. With Master Kathumi, his healing team and the Creator, I'm present to support you now. You may wish to take time to experience with your inner child or you can read this as a prayer and allow the transition to occur afterwards. I am a beacon of light, radiating healing vibrations across the entire earth. May the light I share penetrate each being touching and bringing light to their inner child. May the inner child of every person heal and receive all they require to fulfill themselves. Please know you are deserving, absorb what you need and release what is no longer needed. With Master Kathumi, his healing team and the Creator, I am present to support you now. I am a beacon of light, radiating healing vibrations across the entire earth. May the light I share penetrate each child that is experiencing or has experienced suffering, abuse or mistreatment of any kind. Dear children open to receive the light we share with you now. Let it surround you and safeguard you. May the inner child of every child be healed and receive all they require to be fulfilled. Please know you are deserving, absorb what you need and release what is no longer needed. With Master Kathumi, his healing team and the Creator, 
I'm present to support you now. My light is always present to support the inner children of the world. However, I invite Master Kathumi and his healing team to deliver your healing energy for the inner children of the world as a constant, continuing to magnify touch all deeply, creating beautiful transformations and liberations. See, sense or acknowledge every child upon the earth embraced in supreme light encouraging them to be the light that they are in the world. In love always, Master Kathumi I hope you like the video, welcome to your channel, don't forget to check out the other uploads.